Welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast, a show that examines all aspects of sexuality, from physical to emotional to spiritual. Join our hosts as they discuss age-old questions, common misconceptions, and the latest topics surrounding sex. They'll tackle topics about sexuality from the complicated to the hilarious and everything in between. GSMC Sex Podcast is your show for all of your questions about sex, even some you might not have thought of yet. Welcome to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network, with your host, Andra, where the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Our first topic today is sex games in the bedroom. Now, we all like a little spice in the dark and in the bed. Oh, wherever we choose to have sex. But there are little ways that we can just put a little bit more in there. There's some sex games. And we all love playing games. Again, first thing off top list, everything must be consensual. Make sure you discuss it with your partner. Because your partner may or may not want to try that. And you may have to do something else. But let's jump into the topic. Our first game on the list in the bedroom is the yes, no, maybe list. This activity can do um, with your partner where you casually but effectively introduce and get a feel for new kinks you might like to experiment with. So basically you're, you're, you're throwing some things out at your partner to see what response you're going to get out there. So you have a list of things that you have going on in your mind that you want to try in the bedroom, but you want to see where your partner, you know, where they're going to lay around with that or how they're going to respond to it. You know, and this is where the yes, maybe, yes, no, maybe comes in. You'll either get a yes, you'll get a no, or you'll get a maybe. Means if your partner's thinking about it, not sure yet if they want to do it, but it's not a no. Next game in the bed is start a sex fantasy jar. This sounds like fun. Now, with this one is get a jar. It's like pulling ideas out of a hat. You get a jar and you both put you know, write down what you would like done in the bed or what you would like your partner to do to you or for you in the bed. Different things you want to try and put all those ideas into a jar. Now, when you get the jar filled and you can put a limit on how many of each fantasy for each of you that you would like in. Say you put in 20 apiece, so there's 40 fantasies. 20 that each one of you have decided on. Who's to say that fantasy might just be the same thing? That sex play may just be the same thing. You never know. Then you can just go into the jaw blindly and pull one out and see, you know, if this is going to work today. Ooh, okay, let's try this. So this is really fun. It keeps it interesting because you don't know what you're going to be pulling out of the jaw. But yet there is that surprise element there. 
but these are your fantasies, your games that you would like to play in the bed or things that you would like done to you. So anything that gets pulled out of the jar, you are not surprised by it in a sense where they were your ideas. Next one is pick your fate. Now, in this particular game, you're going to grab two bowls, two small foldable slips of paper, pen, and dice. Ooh, dice is in the mix. And when dice is in the mix, we all know where that goes. Uh, you got to write down 10 things. They don't necessarily have to be sex things either, but it might be something you could use sexually. And they're basically what you would like, want to do to your partner. So you're going to fold up this paper, put it in a jar. Again, jar is quite handy. Get a bucket if you want. It depends on how many you want to put in there. Now, you then throw the dice. And whoever gets the bigger number wins. The loser has to pick a paper from their fate bowl. Okay. Now, mind you say you put in there, uh, clean the bathroom. Okay. Your partner is not going to want to clean the bathroom unless this is something you're going to do and you're so used to doing it, you get up and do it anyway. But you may get that one thing that you want, you don't want to do. And it's a total mood killer. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And then the next day, you do it again. And this is where it comes. Tables may be turned. And your partner, it's their turn. So that one sounds like a lot of fun. Although I like the first jaw one first. <laughs> next on our list is... Blind polka. Now we've all heard of strip polka, but this one's blind polka. Now this combines strip poker and truth or dare, both dangerous games and the pursuit of sex. You need a set of polka cards and maybe a pen and a piece of paper to write down your bets. Always got to be a little bit of a bet in there. Now, when you're going to play this, you pick whatever style of poker you like, but none of the players can look at their cards. The idea is to bet without seeing them. Ooh, dangerous, but sexy. Instead of betting with money, you bet with actions. Sex tax. You know, or something sensual, like a hand massage or something, or just a hand job or a blow job. Little things don't always have to be um, big. Now, once everybody's done betting, the players flip, you flip over the cards, and whoever loses has to do all the things that have been said. Oh my goodness, that gives a very tantalizing list. So, oh my goodness gracious. Interesting, interesting. Next one on our list is read sexy stories to each other. This is fun. I mean, reading stories to one another, and if they're sexy, erotica, you could watch your partner as they respond to the words you're saying and what you're reading which is really cool. But as this uh, suggests, you and your partner can take turns reading the steamiest scenes to one another in bed. Whether it gets your juices flowing right, then and there, or you just pick up some hot tips for later, a later date, you'll both broaden the horizons in terms of new sex acts. So basically, in my layman terms, was what I said. You are reading steamy sections of the book and make sure it's an erotica book 
and you're watching and getting your partner aroused just by the words. So that's, uh, you know, they may want you to jump their bones, but this is all about the arousal and getting a little foreplay in there, a little tease. So it is fun. Next one on our list is download the Do You app. Uh oh. Now, how this is done is you and your partner download the free app Do You app and spell D U D O Y O U app. And that's an actual app on the phone. So go into your Play Store or your iTunes and download it. Um, and this is where you can explore fantasies, discover new kinks, and all other sexual suggestions. You can go through different role-playing scenarios on the app and then try to recreate them um, with your partner and, you know, role-playing, which is absolutely fun. Uh, it's This is a way, it's giving you your own adventure. It's giving you ideas. And you can take them and, and move them into any direction you would like them. So... With that, we're going to take a break here. So get your drink, get your snack, come back, get relaxed. And when we come back, we're going to continue with the sex games in the bedroom. Still on the search of that one true love? On the limbo in this crazy world of dating, marriage, relationships. Well, Listen to the Golden State Media Concepts Relationship Podcast, your one-stop podcast for everything about relationships. Welcome back to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network, with your host, Andra, where the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. As promised, we're going to continue with our lovely sex games in the bedroom. Now, remember, the last one we left on was Do You? Now... There is an app for it, although I did, I'm going to be honest, checked for it on my Play Store. Um, having a little difficulty with Google Play. It may just come up in iTunes right off the bat. I will play around with that a little bit more, and I'm going to look into that app. But let's go forward. Next one on our list is Find the Honey. Now, Food Play has always been a desirable sex game. But here, you're going to get blindfolded, or blindfold your partner, whoever, if you want to try something new, and both become blindfolded. Well, that should be quite interesting. <laughs> so now, you're going to have, um, your partner is going to dip their finger in some honey, and dab it on your body in a sexy, unexpected place, okay? Um, your partner then has to explore your body with their mouth looking for the sweet spot, literally. So your partner put it on their body, that one spot, and you've got to explore them after you take your blindfold off to find where they put the honey on their body how cute is this game? Um, you can either up the ante with this where it can be a little bit more difficult 
or easy. You can add a timer so you only have so much time to find the sweet spot on your bonnet uh, or put it in places where you wouldn't even, it's going to take you a little longer for your bonnet to find and then switch off. It's a very fun game. If you don't eat honey, which the majority of individuals do, find some other food that you would like and use that. They have a lot of flavored or sex oils out there, edible oils or, you know, chocolate's always a favorite, but that you can see. So that would be a little cheating. You want it, something that's going to be transparent. Okay, because you have to really search for this sweet spot. Next game on our list, drawing on each other's body. Obviously, we're not going to use permanent markers because we would like what we read on our partner's bodies to come off and vice versa. But get, um, they have sex markers, candles, massage candles that you can write a draw whatever, you take that and you write suggestions or symbols or whatever that's going to portray some sort of sex idea or something for your, for your partner to explore, okay? I mean, you can do this by putting uh, just a plain old, do it like a roadmap so that your partner has to follow the roadmap to the goods, which is very, very fun, but they're enjoying themselves while they do it and no one's being hurt or poisoned. (laughs) And it does come off. Remember, very, very important, it must come off. Next one on our game list is the May I game. Now, Mind you, when we were younger, we had a game called Mother May I. And for all us old fogies out there, we all know that game, which actually today, for the most part, is still being played. It is a very fun game. And it's, believe it or not, you got to be polite. So you got to ask. Now, this kind of goes with the consent. Now, we always... First and foremost, before we do anything sexually or anything towards our partner, we want to have consent from that partner and vice versa. So this is where consent gets fun. Now, how you do it is you slow down and explore each other's uh, bodies while asking, may I, before every touch. Very, very flirty game. Very, very teasing game. Very, very fun game. You know, you can be flirty. You can be a brat. You can put this in any way. It could be sensually romantic. Or you can be, you know, mix it up and do it a little rough. So this, they're going to give you permission in this game because you you have to ask before every act or everything that you're going to do to your partner. So it's really, really fun. Next one is verbal masturbation. Now, we know that everybody, at least 99.9% of individuals masturbate, which is an awesome way to for you to explore your body, to know your body in order to communicate that to your partner. And another way for you to interact that into your sex um, where it becomes a tease for you for, um, visually. But in this game, it's where just being more vocal about what's happening uh, can be a huge game changer. This is where you turn mutual masturbation up a notch by describing each sensation you're feeling while touching yourself and how you feel watching your partner do the same. So it, it's a tease, a turn on, but you're learning. You might learn something new. You may have been, you may be with your partner for a very, very long time. 
And this game brings out something new. So this is really interesting. Um, next one, Adult Truth or Dare. We've all played Truth or Dare when we were either younger and we got in trouble. But let's bring it into the bedroom. We're playing it now. It's consensual. So this is where this one. I find it. This is a new version of Truth or Dare. Now, for the truths, you're going to opt for ones that are related to helping you understand your partner's partner better on a sexual level. Like, tell me a sexual fantasy you have. And that's usually always the first question we ask our partner anyway. Um, then as for the dares, the dish should be easy to do, but you know a little bit, out of, you're going a little bit out of your comfort zone when you're doing the dare, but it, it has to be achievable. You know, easy to do, it's not going to hurt your partner, not going to make them... I feel uncomfortable. So when we're playing the games, all of these games, total comfort level, consent, everything. And it makes it so much better, much funner. And we continue, you know, to build our sexual relationship with our partners. So you got to make sure that that's okay because truth and dare can get a little out of hand. So... The next one, stop and start. Uh, we like to tease. We're going to, with this game, set some boundaries. You set a timer on one of your cell phones or get a little kitchen timer for under four minutes. Do your sexual activity. Until the timer goes off, then you swap places. Very, very difficult to do because if you are performing your sexual act on your partner and they're very much enjoying it and trying to get all into it and then the timer goes up, you got to stop and then they have to switch. So they're thinking, I want more of that, I want more of that. And they're hoping you're going to do that more when you come back and it's going to be something different. You may want to keep it that way that's completely up to you so but that timer is key you got to do as much as possible and get your partner as hot and bothered before the timer well we're going to take another break here let's replenish our drinks and our snacks come back get relaxed because we come back we're going to finish out with our sex games in the bedroom Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Welcome back to the GSMC Sex Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network, with your host, Andra, where the topic about sex is from the point of view of an older woman. Now we are at the 
final portion of our show today. And I'm having so much fun um, just exploring some sex games and giving them to you. Now, some of these sex games, you have the items right there, nothing to buy. If you want to go out to the sex store and buy some toys or buy, go into a regular store and find something that you think will put into it and add to it, by all means, do do it. But for, you know, remember to ask for consent and have that open communication. Now, some of these are apps and some are books that you can go and get off of Amazon. Now, the next game on our list, and we probably won't get through all of them. They are all out there. You can search for these and, you know, do your homework. That's all there is to it. I know that bad word, homework, but this is fun homework, so. <laughs> Next one is flirt through foreplay. Now, we, when we are flirting through foreplay and teasing, this is really a playful way to getting to know each other, knowing yourself, knowing your partner, and vice versa. So it is always fun to do. Why not integrate it into a game? Now, the way, the best way to get it on is to make the actual date focus on connecting and straight up having a lot of fun together. And that's basically what flirt through foreplay is you're just having a lovely lovely time uh, exploring each other and having fun while doing it so we're going to be going to our next one now we all know of the advent calendar we all have fun with it at Christmas this let's make one for sex this is exactly what the game is Try an advent calendar. Now, um, this is also available, and you can buy this through lovehoney.com. And what it is is 12 Nights of Seduction Lingerie Calendar. Okay, so this, this is really, really fun. It is an advent calendar made up of it, all sexual things, sex toys, lingerie, or if there's something that you want to put into it, do it. Swap them out and put what you want. Uh, there are vibrators on there. Anything, you know, if you want to try out this, you can't wait to get to, you know, that last day of Christmas or the Advent calendar, the sex calendar. Mix them up all over the place but I think the first time playing with it and doing it would be advantageous to kind of sort of go on it because you don't know what's behind each door there unless of course you swap them out now that's going to be yours so once you get through with what is provided for you swap them up and put different things in this would be a perfect time to go to a sex toy store and with your partner or go at different times and buy different things with what something that you would like for your partner or for yourself and put it in there when your partner's not looking. And then it's, it's all a guessing game all over again. There are ways to play around with this. On to our next one, dabble in beginner bondage. Now, whether you admit to it or not in some way or form during sex, you have done bondage I think when we think of it it's the extreme so we don't realize that we're probably doing some form of it every time we have sex so this is another way to do it whereas you're dabbling this way you're being more aware of it if you ask your partner to put on a blindfold or handcuffs that is a form of bondage we all you know, like to have fun with handcuffs. I'm assured the majority of individuals out there who are 
actively sexually has dabbled with it. That is still called bondage. This is actually a kit that you can get, again, from lovehoney.com. And it's the beginner bondage game. It costs $20 on there. Um, the calendar actually costs, I think, twenty one ninety five. dollars uh, But this is something that's fun. And it's available. I mean, if you already have handcuffs, we can just take a scuff or blindfold. Just think of some things and write them down. But do do it safely. Our next game, Freeze Out. In this game, there's nothing that you have to buy or anything. So, very cheap way to have fun. You take turns exploring each other's body with ice. See how it happens. Um, be very gentle with the ice because it is cold and you keep the movements light and teasing. Okay? Now, you wait until the ice has sufficiently melted down a bit and your partner is used to the cold sensation before heading down to their genitals. Now you've gotten the rest of their body all up and, you know, cold and aroused and they're already up there. So when you go down on your um, partner and to their genitals, they're basically ready for you. So this is a real achievement. You can get ice right out of your ice box. No need to go out and buy new ones unless you want little shaped ones, which I really don't think you need them, but hey, that is your choice. On to our next game is Choose Your Pleasure card game. This card game costs $13. It is also on lovehoney.com. Um, it is a full deck of 52 cards with sexy scenarios on each of them. So when you split the the deck up to his and her challenges and you roll the dice, um, that's where you will pick up a card and it will prompt you to do something to your partner. But I don't, I mean, you can go get these games because sometimes it's fun to go and buy the game and say, oh, look what I, you know, got. Let's try it out. You can take these and make them your way. We, no money is involved. I know there's a lot going on right now in the world. But if you want to go out and do that, go for it. You can make up your own cards and write your own suggestions on the cards. That's always fun as well. Next one on our list, and we're probably only going to get through halfway on this list. There are a lot of them, but these are great ideas. Try a sexy board game. Okay, you get a tease board game that is suitable to um, two to six players. It's actually a real board game. And this is to highlight sexy, uh, sexy fantasies for both you and your partner or partners, depending, you know, you want to play this with uh, friends and they're all in, go for it. Um, and this is in it would be a great game for those swinging couples, so that is great. But, you know, you might want to try it out on you and your partner first and see if you really want to bring somebody in on this. Uh, this is actually called the Tease Board Game, okay? And it is through lovehoney.com, and it costs $39. So that is uh, an actual board game, that one you might want to go out and get. Unless somebody's very creative, go out, get a piece of cardboard, make up your own board game. Who's to say that we've got creative minds when it comes to sex? So the last one we're going to discuss today is naked getting to know you. Now, this is, well, the purpose of it is, is very simple. You just hover your hands lightly over your partner's body without actually touching them. And 
I've discussed this before where um, your they can feel and sense your body through your hand from the heat total turn on you're learning about your partner it's a very good game to do if your partner is blindfolded or it's in the dark because you cannot they cannot see um, where your hand is but in this sense we're gonna you know keep score and whoever makes a mistake and actually touches the person is charged a kiss per point. So that sounds like real good fun. Well, let's stick one more in there. Make it an even 20. And then we'll end the show. Monkey see, porn star do. Interesting. You pick some feminist porn that makes you feel empowered and horny. Grab your partner and cue it up. And you cue it to the max. Okay? As you're watching, you and your partner um, can pick one sex thing from it. And you get to try it. So if you see something in that porn movie, you try it. And this one is actually is something... We all probably do, well, at least the majority of the population sexually active has tried. Porn's there for a reason. Use it. These individuals go out and make these movies. That's what they're there for. So that is the end of my show for right now. And I'm so glad you all tuned in. And as always... Practice safe sex, if not for your partner, for yourself. These games are ones that you can buy or make some up that you and your partner will enjoy. So long for now. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast, part of the GSMC Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type in GSMC to find all of our shows from the GSMC Podcast Network. From sex and relationships to health and wellness, life and happiness, and even weird news. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's episode of the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast.